one you're on. Which too. one of those is working for Mr. Grenegan? <laughs> okay, all right, yes. just checking. I'm ready to go. Test. Test. Do you want to take Glenn right over here? I would. Yeah. Let you go. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to call to order the McLeod County Board of Commissioners meeting today, June 4th. Can we please begin our meeting with our Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Before we begin our, our scheduled meeting today, we are honored to have Senator Glenn Grunigan join us, and he has a message for us this morning. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I should have wore a tie, I guess, but <laughs> anyway, uh, session's over, uh, so hopefully we helped you and didn't hurt you, okay? We'll see what happens. Kind of ended on a dull note, but that's uh, another uh, discussion. Anyway, I thank you for what you do. I believe local government's the best government, and thank you for serving in what you do. I just got two quick issues I wanted to comment on. First, I wanted to thank you for passing that resolution opposing the sanctuary state. I think we all know the ramifications on our property taxes and other expenses if we become a, uh, a sanctuary state. It was one of their primary uh, goals uh, at the beginning of session. They held press conference. There's a lot of impetus behind it, but I think your resolution lit the fuse. And I can't, I think close to last I heard was about 20 to 25 counties passed resolutions similar to against it. Uh, it might have even been more than that. But I do think your pushback on the uh, county commissioner pushback. Uh, not only here, but across the state made a big difference and it never did come up for a vote. So thank you for that. Uh, second thing is, is that on the flag issue, we tried to uh, bring force a vote this fall on whether to accept the new flag or not. I notice you still have the uh, previous flag here, which that's what I'm flying also. And uh, you know, it was 13 people who made this decision. They took the date of our founding of Minnesota off. Also, if you do, it's an eight point star. If you do any type of research on it, it does appear to resemble a foreign flag. And I personally continue to oppose it. I don't, you know, we weren't able to do anything this session. I don't know what we can do in the future. But as far as myself, uh, and I notice around the, the uh, county, I see an awful lot of previous flags, and that's the one I'm flying. So again, thanks, and I think you did pass a resolution opposing that also, and uh, it's gonna cost counties tens of thousands of dollars, which will show up in property taxes, and when you take 87 counties, and the changes at the state, it's gonna turn into millions of tax dollars. So thank you for, again for what you're doing, and thanks for giving me a couple, mi a couple minutes. God bless. Thank, Thank you, Senator. Thank you. We'll then move into our, um, our regular agenda. So our first item will be our consideration of agenda items. Do you have any additions or corrections to today's agenda? Mr. Nagel, you had a request. Uh, on the consent agenda, pull item E, please, for further discussion. Okay, so we'll pull item E from our consent agenda, and we'll see that after um, our item number seven, prior to county administration. Is there any other additions or changes to our agenda today? Move to approve with the addition. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Kruger and a second by Schmaltz to approve today's agenda items. Is there any discussion? See then we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Our consent agenda with removal of item E. Move to consent agenda, Mr. Chair. Second. We have a motion by Schmall, a second by Nagel to approve today's consent agenda. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We'll then move on to Health and Human Services. Barrett Sports. 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I have one item before you today. Uh, consider approving the purchase of service agreement with Avera Behavioral Health Center out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, to provide mental health hold orders and mental health civil commitments and services for the period of July 1st, 2024 through June 30th, 2025. Avera Behavioral Health Center will provide mental health hold orders and mental health civil commitment beds and services as medically appropriate. The services may include confinement of persons, observation, psychiatric services, diagnosis and evaluation services, nursing services, family education, and support services, group and individual therapy, medication administration, occupational and recreational therapy, and other treatment services specific to the patient's individual treatment plan. These services will be provided at a daily rate of $1,495 for the duration of the inpatient stay. Uh, just to note, we have a similar contract um, with Hutchinson Health for this very same service, and their current rate is $1,771 per day. So um, this one is a, a little less. We don't foresee using this one very often, uh, but there is going to be a new um, uh, behavioral uh, health um, housing uh, establishment in Nobles County which we might then need to be using this facility in Sioux Falls at that time. So it's just good to have this contract so we're not paying the, the full uh, private pay rate. Okay, any questions on that? Mr. Chair? Yes. And uh, question, Barrett. Um, can you anticipate the usage of this particular um, uh, offering, um, let's say using past history? I, I really can't. I, I don't foresee us using it in the near future um, until we that building is established. Um, I don't think we're going to use it very often. But like I said, it's nice to have that contract in place because then we're able to, to uh, have that rate for the stays. Sure, understood. Thank you. Um, another question is uh, like transportation to the facility. Mm -hmm. Are we, or if it's a it's a com if it's a committal or something like that, mm -hmm. are we paying for transportation to the facility as well? Uh, sometimes law enforcement. A lot of times, law enforcement does transportation for us. If we need to transport, then we will reimburse. Okay, thank you, Barrett. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll uh, I'll move uh, request as presented. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a motion by Schmaltz and a second by Kruger to consider the service agreement with the Barrett Behavioral Behavioral Health Center. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll have our Sheriff's Office. Aaron Moore, Chief Deputy. Good morning. Good morning. morning. First item I have uh, consider adopting, <clears throat> excuse me, Resolution 24 CB19, authorizing McLeod County to be the fiscal agent and administer the Toward Zero Death Grant for the of October 1st. 2024 to September 30th, 2025. I'll move the request, Mr. Chair. Okay, we have a motion by Schmaltz. Is there a second? Second. And a second by Nagel to consider adopting resolution 24 CB19, McLeod County to be the fiscal agent to administer, to administer the Toward Zero Deaths Grant. Is there any, any further discussion? Mr. Yes. Chair. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, Chief Ward, I, I don't have any trouble supporting the resolution. Um, a very worthy cause, uh, very appreciative of the people who participate in administering the program, and uh, well worthwhile. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Chair, is, it a, is there a dollar figure on that grant, or is that just an um, um, educational type grant, or how, what, what is specific to yeah, they, they lay it out. It's the grants actually with uh, Hutchinson Police Department, Glencoe Police Department, and then uh, the Sheriff's Office. I don't have the specific dollar amount. I think okay, but all it the varies. Cost. So all we're the going cost. through the application process. The application is due June 10th. Um, so uh, we're getting this in place uh, if we're awarded the grant. Okay, thank you. Okay, any further discussion? Seeing then we will proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Go ahead. Second is consider approving a contract with Sunrise Wellness 
to provide mandatory wellness checks to our licensed and non-licensed law enforcement employees at the cost of $10,217.25 with funds from the county sheriff's office budget. The sheriff is in support of this service as a proactive effort to provide support to our staff given the nature of their responsibility in handling of critical incidents within their position duties. The contracted wellness check sends provide support to the employee directly, including work and personal life balance. This resource provides services beyond what is available for our employee assistance program. Sunrise Wellness will also provide support for our peer team members. The Sheriff's Office had a previous contract with Marie Ridgeway, and she no longer is able to provide the support for the Sheriff's Office. Move to approve. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Nagel and a second by Kruger to approve the contract with Sunrise Wellness. The cost of $10,217.25, funds from the County Sheriff's Office budget. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Public Works, Andrew and Engel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please consider hiring Brown Intertech to perform materials testing on state project 04307023, County Stated Highway 115, uh, County Stated Highway 25, or the Airport Road Jefferson Street Roundabout project at a cost not to exceed $85,000 with funds from the highway construction budget. Um, costs on this contract will be billed as uh, actual costs for services rendered. Um, the staff does not have the availability to perform the testing on this project due to our workload this summer. Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, Andrew, were there any other um, proposals um, that you received as far as uh, doing the service for the project? We did not receive any other proposals just due to the, the geographical um, location of the project and the location of the testing firms. Thank you, Andrew. With that, I'll, I'll move, uh, move the request, Mr. Chair. Okay. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion by Schmalz, a second by Nagel, to consider hiring Braun Intertech to perform materials testing on County State Aid Highway 115 and 25 roundabout project. Not to exceed $85,000. Is there any further discussion? Mr. Chair? Go ahead. Is, is, what, is this just boring or is there more to what are they all testing? Are they testing the materials used as well? Or? Yep, this is all construction material testing. Okay. So it's all the subgrade, um, uh, sub base, aggregate base, concrete, um, bituminous, all the plant inspection, everything. It's one of them necessary evils, so I, I get it. So thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Andrew, as long as you're up there, um, I know there's a lot of drivers that are kind of looking for updates on road projects. Can you just give a quick on 115 and that roundabout that's happening there, as well as what you know about how the Morningside project's coming along? Yep, so uh, we'll start with the 115 uh, concrete um, overlay project. Um, the concrete is all complete on the project. Um, the shoulders are all, the bituminous shoulders are all paved west of State Highway 15, and they're working to the east um, towards State Highway 22. Um, they should be done with that later this week. Um, they're starting the, the gravel shouldering this morning um, uh, west of State Highway 15. Um, and we should have the section um, between uh, State Highway 15 and um, School Road or County Road 7 open by the end of next week. Good. Um, the roundabout project, um, they're working hard on uh, mass grading. Um, I got some storm sewer going in the ground uh, this week, and we'll be starting to put some uh, subgrade down and some sub base down later in the week in areas. And then, um, what was the other part? Uh, Morningside. Morningside. You, uh, you know, I haven't been too involved with Morningside to this point. There haven't been too many hiccups um, that have drawn my attention, but I believe they're working on underground utilities. Um, they're still on schedule for that project. All right. Thank you for that update. Sure. Thank you. Andrew, Mr. Chair, how, how are we doing? I heard, I know I had the road underwater out my way there on the county, Sibley McLeod County land. How is that 
Was it basically just underwater or was there washing going on? What's yep, so County Road 68, about a half mile west of County Road 1, is underwater right now. Um, it seems like the um, just not enough outlet for that whole drainage basin and it's backed up. Um, the water flowing across the road is pretty uh, slow, flow, so there isn't any washing going on right now. So um, as soon as uh, the water recedes, um, depending on what we get for weather here and rain later today, um, it could recede a couple of days or it could be another week or so. Um, but as soon as that recedes, we'll go through, we'll uh, clean stuff up and get it back open as soon as we can. It's a real flat area. That's on that ditch eight, and that's kind of a cereal bowl right in there. And I, yep. I don't, I know we engineered it. it this is theoretically not supposed to happen, but it, you know, <laughs> it does. I. Yep. And Adam, uh, Adam Lesky went and drove the ditch yesterday. We gave him a call just to see if there was anything plugged downstream because it didn't, you know, smell test didn't seem right. And he he went down and checked it uh, checked it all out. There were no culvert plugs or anything. We just got five inches of rain overnight yeah. and too much for the system to handle. Yeah, thank you, because I've driven it myself, and it's you, you don't have to go too far south, and it, it has the capacity, but there's a bowl there, and it just is what it is. So mm -hmm. thanks, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have employee relations. Hannah. Good morning. Good morning. Just have one item this morning. Um, item A is to consider, oh, I'm sorry, consider approving the updated employee recognition and wellness policy in the McLeod County personnel policy to comply with the Minnesota State Auditor. Um, this is a positive budget impact to the policy and really is just a way, uh, a change of the way that these staff are being dispersed to meet the requirements of the auditor. Okay. All right, any questions for Anna or Matt? Mr. Chair. And I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion by Nagel and a second by Schmaltz to approve the updated employee recognition of wellness policy. Any further discussion? Seeing then we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Our next item will be our um, item E that we pulled from our consent agenda, which is a approval of a preliminary plat. Um, Mr. Nagel, you requested that? Here. Yes, so the reason I pulled it is some Questions and concerns came up in the 11th hour, and the 11th hour is for a variety of reasons. I would move to table that for two weeks. Do we have our next board meeting date? The 18th, the correct? Yep, yeah, I guess I should have looked ahead and grabbed that. So. We have a motion on the table uh, to, uh, to table me until the 18th, our next board meeting. Mr. Chair, Go ahead. before we vote, is, do we, is there any input from Mark, or does he just happen to come in? I'm motion on table. I talked to him last night. But okay, good. Yep. Yep. Looking for a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second to table item E. We'll then move on to vote. All in favor say aye. Mr. Aye. Chair, vote. Can we, uh, I have a question first before we vote. Can. Okay. Well, technically, there's not discussion unless on on a, on a table. So I guess we're kind of in that. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything. Other than table. So we will just, we'll, we'll go ahead and vote on the table. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. I was just concerned whether we met Mark's timeline. He's fine. That's what He's I was fine. Too. He, that was talked over. So. That's a good point. That's all I was worried about too. We'll then move on to uh, county administration or review of calendars. Mr. Nagel? Um, forgive me, I can't even, we're going so fast, I can't even get the technology up yet this morning. Um, the, in addition to what we just spoke about, um, some 11th hour things regarding that property issue, and we'll discuss that. I, to, I think uh, to Commissioner Schmoll's point regarding the timeline, I. I talked to Mark last night, he didn't meet up, and I really don't care if there is because there's some things that gotta get ironed out. Um, also dealing with some ditch issues, specifically 18, which we've all would probably agree was one of the easiest meetings we've ever had and one of the most difficult projects we seem to be able yeah. to get starting. Um, trying to keep uh, uh, up to date on the fairgrounds building project, which the, um, the weather um, has obviously slowed us down on that uh, and some other ditch issues in Acoma Township uh, that uh, hopefully after meeting with uh, 
Ryan and Adam this morning, maybe uh, a redetermination is the best way to go with that. And then uh, attended the uh, Memorial Day program in Hutchinson and uh, our good friend Sheldon Neese honored there. And it was a very nice program that I was glad I was able to be at. Okay, since our last board meeting, um, at a, uh, a meeting with Sibley County on joint ditch number five on a redetermination of benefits, which is also a triggered uh, a, a water related project in uh, New Auburn. So there'll be more to come on, on that. Um, did also attend Memorial Day services in Hutchinson. I'm very glad that the sky was able to open up and be sunny during that time so people could come out. Um, also monitoring 115, thank you Andrew for the update on that. Um, I know it's uh, increased a lot of traffic and trucks by my house, so I can definitely tell the difference. And so there's a lot of, a lot of drivers that are, are very eager for that uh, roadway to be, to be open. Uh, after that, that's it for my calendar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I wasn't at the last meeting, but uh, I, I'm working on, uh, I, I've been still staying up on our Trailblazer, and we have some ditch issues that CD12 um, is, is uh, uh, I'm taking on a lot of information, and there, our um, staff is working hard with, uh, with our, our water attorneys and trying to exactly uh, see what we can come up with with the railroad to uh, to improve that ditch. Um, I had my MRC board meeting on the 20th um, and agenda review on uh, on the 30th. I was not able to attend any memorial services first time I think in <laughs> close to 50 years. Forever. But, but, yeah. <laughs> But at any rate, uh, because uh, but there's good things going on. I have some family issues that are that are very positive. So uh, um, I mean, I could go on and on about that. But uh, my wife's been in the hospitalized and things are moving on pretty good. I'm doing good, but it's a it's a busy plate. But I assure um, my constituents in the county that I'm I, we've got a great staff that I'm very proud of. That are keeping us up to date, or keeping me up to date on everything that's going on. What I'm not able to attend myself. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kruger. Since our last county board meeting on the 21st, uh, we held a workshop after the meeting, and then on Wednesday the 22nd, I uh, I attended a Zoom meeting that AMC hosted, uh, giving a legislative review. And then Thursday, the 23rd, uh, well-being committee meeting was held in the afternoon. Uh, I can zoom in for that meeting. And then uh, after that meeting was over, I headed to Redwood Falls for my UCAP Joint Powers Board meeting uh, for that evening. And um, last week, regretfully, I could not attend any memorial services. I believe uh, uh, this is the first time in many years that I was unable to attend due to weather and family commitments this year and then uh, took a phone call from a concerned resident about some uh, roadway patching that was taking place on uh, County Road 9 uh, East of Lester Prairie and that's all I have Mr. Chair. Thank you. Attorney's Office. Uh, thank you Mr. Chair. Uh, in recent months I've provided a few updates on recent felony jury, jury trials. Um, three of those cases have now been sentenced so I figured I would just provide an update on that. We had had a individual convicted of controlled substance crime in the first degree sale of methamphetamine and, uh, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. So sentences were imposed on those counts of 81 months and 60 months respectively. Um, and then two weeks ago we had a sentencing following our uh, criminal sexual conduct in the first degree and electronic solicitation of a, tri a child jury trial. So sentences there were imposed uh, 186 months and 60 months respectively. And then finally, we had a recent sentencing for that burglary in the first degree case I had mentioned, and, and that individual received 51 months. Um, last week, we did have another felony jury trial, but those calendars remain busy. Um, charges included controlled substance crime in the first degree, DWI, obstructing le legal process, and a few other charges. And uh, the jury returned guilty verdicts on all counts, so a positive outcome there. The presumptive sentence in that case is presumed to be around 115 months, but uh, we are awaiting sentencing um, and a pre-sentence and investigation. So just wanted to 
follow up with those updates and uh, nothing else. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, administration. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Item A, notification that today's work workshop, which was scheduled to be the board's annual highway tour, has been postponed for Thursday, August 20th, 2024, following the board meeting. Item B, notification of board workshop at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 18, 2024, at the McLeod Government Center, 520 Chandler Avenue North, Glencoe, Minnesota. And item C, notification of Board of Appeal and Equalization meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, June 18, 2024, at the McLeod County Government Center, 520 Chandler Avenue North, Glencoe, Minnesota. And just a note about that meeting, because every year we have residents attend who um, are kind of off on the timing or where they should be going for the information. Um, on their property or property tax questions. So if you do have questions or plan to attend that meeting and are unsure whether or not that is the forum, please contact our county assessor's office prior. Thank you. That brings us to the end of today's normal agenda. And we're up to uh, open forum and press relations. Is there anyone that wishes to approach the board today? Seeing none, we'll then need to move into our closed meeting, so I'll open up uh, for a motion to do so. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Nagel and a second by Kruger to go into a closed meeting. Any discussion on that? Sheila, you want to cover what our business item is, or Ryan, whoever's up for that? Uh, sure. So, to my understanding, this meeting will now be closed as permitted by Section 13D.05, Subdivision 3, Parens C. Um, which allows for closure of meetings to, con er, to consider possible property transactions, which can include possible offers relating to a sale of a parcel of land. Um, so we can close pursuant to that. Okay. All right. Then proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. We're going to close meeting. Is this your coffee, Doug? I believe so. I'm actually good, though. Thanks. Doing for pain. They really have a good pain management plan. Uh, how long is she hurt? You know, she stage. broke her arm before. Oh, I did.